Hi, welcome to Land of Chemistry. Simple steps to organic chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn the electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene. Come on, let's learn the reaction. This is nitrobenzene. Here, the electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene takes place in a two way that is, one in presence of a weak acid and another one is in presence of strong acid. First, let's learn in presence of weak acid. Here, 6 hydrogen will take part in this reduction reaction. 4 hydrogen and this 2 oxygen will leave as 2H2O. The remaining 2 hydrogen will get attached to this nitrogen and we get aniline as the product. To the benzene ring, NH2 will get attached. This is known as aniline. The next one, in presence of a strong acid. Here, para convenient, I am writing nitrobenzene in this way, N double bond O and N O. Here, 4 hydrogen will take part in this reaction, that is in presence of strong acid, that is in a strong acidic medium. Here, 2 hydrogen and this oxygen will leave as a water molecule and the remaining 2 hydrogen, 1 hydrogen will get attached to this nitrogen and another hydrogen to this oxygen. So, we get NHOH that is phenyl hydroxylamine which on rearrangement which on rearrangement here in the para position there will be a hydrogen. This hydrogen will get attached to this nitrogen and this OH will replace the hydrogen. So, we get Here NH2, here OH, which is known as para amino phenol. Come on, let's write the name for these structures. This is nitrobenzene. Which on electrolytic reduction in presence of weak acid gives aniline as the product. And here this is nitrobenzene which on electrolytic reduction in presence of strong acid, first it gives phenyl hydroxyl amine, which on rearrangement it gives para amino phenol. Come on, let's summarize the reaction. The electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene takes place in a two way that is one in presence of weak acid and another one in presence of strong acid. In weak acid, it gives aniline, aniline as the product and in presence of strong acid, it gives first phenyl hydroxylamine which on rearrangement, it gives para amino phenol as the product. Thank you.